Hello everyone, this is MCA Knight here. This is part two of the Epic Weapons Expansion Pack review. So, yeah, if you haven't watched the first part, watch it first before you watch the second part. Because I'm gonna re, I'm gonna finish reviewing all the staffs and the, and also the spell books right here. Okay, we got the Thief, Solar, Overgrowth, and Poison, and when I was off camera, the thing was on, some of the parts of the targeting range was on fire, so I had to rebuild the thing all over again. So on a certain spot that was burnt, so I placed some new du test subjects at a different range. So all right, thief, staff, okay, it damages 14 when it's shot and. Okay, it somewhat damages on that one. Okay, the solar. Okay, it summons a sun and it burns you. And possibly the same thing as for the book. And for some reason it spawned... It spawned two of them. Wait. Oh, you can do... Oh, with these books? If you have these spell books, this is very helpful for a group. If you have the spell books, because it's better than the staffs. Okay, for the poison one, I mean the overgrowth one, I mean, whoops. It spawns these plants. It damages them at a certain amount. And for the spell ones, if you do it multi shot style and get all the targets, it spawn a bunch of plants and damage them at a certain amount of number and then for the poison it summons a poisonous gas around them poisonous gas it will do the same with the bug when you have a large group of, of mobs or something that will be helpful alright let me let me get a bigger chest because I'm about to fill this thing up with those okay next one is the acid earthquake ghost and wind oh this is gonna be great okay 14 it'll summon acid around you and damage you and same as the book with multi shot of targets same thing but with the piercing of each target in a row. I don't know what's going on over there, but oh well. Let's continue. Earthquake. It summons these meteor rocks. I don't know. Same as for these with a certain amount of damage. Well, some of these elemental spells and stabs will possibly end up killing someone straight off the bat at some one. Okay, for the ghost one, if you just saw that, there was a random blade moving around by itself and damaged them a little bit more with that one. Okay, for the wind one, it makes your opponent f go up and takes fall damage. Same as the book, get everyone flying, and as soon as you hit them, it'll put it at a certain, okay, certain damage on the first hit. And then the fall damage will be like, I don't know, two or three. But it's a good advantage to use that one just in case if someone is on you for some reason, keep going on on you trying to corner you use that spell book to get away and it'll take a little bit of damage on your opponent and for the tsunami this is a tsunami this this is what before I use the tsunami on these targets it's gonna summon a huge wave right here a huge wave when I mean a huge wave I mean a huge wave so Y'all see that? 
And for the group one, if you do this on a group, yeah. I love the effects on that one. Love it. Okay, for the heal. Okay, this the heal one is basically that you heal your teammates and stuff. This is basically healing your teammates. The heal staff and the heal thing. It's basically healing your opponents. So, yeah. With all the elemental ones that I tested, the ones that are staff and the books, they're going to be... The, the rest of the weapons will be the same exact thing. Same effects, but possibly a, a different damage. So, yeah. I kind of like the Break of Sword better. So, I'm going to go choose a couple of those. So, yeah. Okay, I don't want the lightning one, but I do want that, and that, and that. Because we got some tough mobs to deal with. Tough mobs to deal with, and okay, let's go ahead and spawn some mobs. And also, there's a magic broom. I didn't realize it until now. Let me spawn it right here. Okay, then you can ride a magical broom for some reason. Okay, then. You can ride a magical broom in this, in this world. You can ride a magical broom on this world. That I didn't realize. There were brooms in here. Okay, enough chit-chatting. Let's go ahead and with the mobs. We got the grounded gargoyle. If I even say it, say it correctly. Okay, this is just a statue. I don't know. What if I do this? Does he attack? Okay, he does. Okay, he does. Okay. Warrior, warrior goblin, a goblin. Okay, he's got a sword and a shield. Okay, it dropped a... Regular sword. Ew. D don't ever drop that. It ever. Okay, what? A flying gargoyle. Again, if I say it, said it right. And... Okay, some of these weapons do one shot. On these mobs. Just... Okay, commander goblin. And oh, he's giant. He's got a mace. I think that's what it is. Yeah, this guy is tough. This guy is tough. Alright. Was there anything that I need to spawn? Nope. Yeah, these weapons are good. Okay, all of these breaker swords and every weapon is the same. But different effects of the elemental ones, so. But that's cool. Yeah, these these elemental weapons are cool if you ever downloaded this world. Because every weapons are kind of epic. I should say. Okay. Alright. Yep, pretty sure that's all that I had to show. All the weapons that are tested on this one, and yeah. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please like and subscribe if you're new to this channel. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye, and I'm MCA Knight. I'm going to go ahead and ride this magical broom back to spawn.